Hello again my friends, we are so effing close. Warmind drops May 8th, the time for talk is almost over, soon we play, and sweet lord do we need some new content to play, but we're not quite there yet, so to help tide you over until launch, we're gonna nibble on a few tasty nuggets of news, plus I'm gonna detail everything you need to know to make sure you're ready to grind as soon as the expansion goes live. Knowledge is power after all, so let Papa Console fill your pulsating grey matter with the strength of a thousand thousand gods. Uh, let's effing go. Leaked gameplay of the Sunshot buff has made its way online. Check it out. I am of course kidding, this was just a spicy little Twitter meme from this cheeky fellow. Having said that, Bungie's senior game designer did actually reveal the legit Sunshot buff in this tweet. On Explosion Kill, Sunshot gets higher detonation damage and a larger detonation radius. More chained Explosion Kills, which does sound pretty cool I gotta say, but it remains to be seen what bonus enhancement this masterwork version of the weapon unlocks, but I'm gonna have fun finding out. Crispy new 4K Warmind screenshots have been released, so let's have a look at them. Now, my favourite of the screenshots is this Titan pulling a rather sexual pose with a new Valkyrie weapon, you saucy little devil. And here he is again, showcasing the new armour that could be earned from defeating the final boss in the new Escalation Protocol activity. And looky here, yet another heroic Titan pose. And as you can see, he's just about to chuck the Valkyrie, which can be used as a long-distance projectile weapon or as a devastating ground pound melee attack. Both are very fun to use indeed. Now these screenshots appear to be taken from the Will of the Thousand Strike in which you have to protect Rasputin's neural network from a malicious attack. According to Bungie, you'll need to use the Valkyrie to defeat a monstrous foe. Okay Bungo, will do. Now while I was looking through gameplay for this video, I came across this terrifying screenshot which takes place during Escalation Protocol. There's five effing laser ogres. Seriously, five of them. Chill, Famathy. Bungie wasn't kidding when they said that this was going to be a very challenging endgame activity. Now, all I'm going to say is this. Hunter, Night Stalker, Orpheus Rig, Warcliffe Coil, Biatch. <laughs> Here's a helpful heads up from Bungie. Milestone rewards earned this week may be lost if not claimed before the start of maintenance on May 8th. Players earning milestones or other ritual rewards in Destiny 2 this week should ensure they are claimed before then. And the same thing applies to all Season 2 ornaments, so get them while you still can. Next up, this tweet from Bungie's community manager DMG. In update 1.2.0, we're adding functionality to dismantle items in the vault and postmaster without having to pick them up first. It will also be possible to to dismantle weapon mods from the weapon inspection screen. Now these are very welcome quality of life improvements but be careful when you're dismantling weapon mods from the weapon inspection screen because as DMG says in his follow up tweet, in test we've seen a few players dismantle mods or other items accidentally when meaning to equip them. Make sure you're pushing the correct button when interacting with items in the Postmaster Vault mod inventory once update 1.2.0 goes live. Right then, Warmind releases May 8th. For those of you who were keen to start grinding as soon as the game goes live, well, here's everything you need to know. So then, you can actually preload the expansion at 7am Pacific time on the 8th of May. Three hours later, the patch notes for Warmind go live, so this will give you something to do while you're waiting for the actual game to launch. Now, the actual game launches at 11am Pacific time, obviously on the 8th of May. Then three days later, the new raid layer goes live at 10am Pacific time, 11th of May. Now, if you're going to grind for rewards first, well, set your alarm clock. And just in case you were curious, Warmind will become available as a standalone purchase on May 8th. Expansion 1 is not required to play Expansion 2, which is actually a nice touch because having to purchase Curse of Osiris to play Warmind may have put a lot of people off. Now, if you're still undecided as to whether or not to purchase Warmind, here's a checklist of the content you'll be able to play. An all-new Raid Layer, Spire of Stars, new themed weapons, armor, and gear, an all-new Ritual Activity, Escalation 
Annihilation Protocol, an all new relic weapon the Valkyrie, new strikes, new story missions and adventures, a new destination on the polar ice caps of Mars, and access to multiplayer arenas in private matches. And your character level cap is also being increased from 25 to 30, your power level cap is being increased from 335 to 385, and this will cost you 20 bucks. And guys, I decided to stitch together a montage of all the Warmind gameplay Bungie has released in the build up to the launch of the expansion. Enjoy, and we'll speak again at the end of the video. So yeah, like I said at the start of the video, Warmind is almost here, and it's worth noting that not only do we get a brand new expansion May 8th, we also get the start of Season 3, plus a new game update that will add seasonal crucible rankings, private matches, increased full space, a multi-emote wheel, exotic masterwork weapons, seasonal vendor progression, heroic strike modifiers, the prismatic matrix, and a new legendary nightfall challenge card. So yeah, I'd say May 8th is actually a great time for lapsed Destiny players to hop back in. And as I'm sure regular 
subscribers will have noticed, regular content is back on this channel, and come May 8th, regular content will turn into daily content. There's going to be so much new stuff to cover, so if you want to keep bang up to date with all the latest news, plus all the cool new secrets, exotics, collectibles, easter eggs, and well, anything Warman related, feel free to subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications, and that way, you will not miss a single thing, and yes, your boy Papa Konto will also be at E3 to cover Bungie's reveal of its brand new game mode. Destiny 2 is back on the menu, boys, so tuck the F in. Thumbs up if you enjoy the video, subscribe for daily Destiny content, and thank you so much for watching, and as always, a tee hee hee. Until next time, Guardians.